Hello, my friends. Oh, welcome back to the Enhanced Swarm mod. We're going to be checking out the Cru no, the Supreme. <laughs> no, the Crucible. We did the Crucible. <laughs> no, no Hyperion Crucible mod today. We're going straight to the Supreme, which means that it comes with guac. Let's do this. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work. Are we going to have Kerrigan? Are we just going to use our own super you? Ooh. Would you look at that? So this is actually one of those very small indicators that the mod maker has a lot of attention to detail. By default, Yagdra bugs to face backwards in this cutscene, and it has to manually be fixed. <laughs> so you can always tell from a mod maker that they care. That is, uh, it's a very tiny thing, and I don't judge people who don't do it, but it is always like, a, oh, okay, well, they're willing to put the effort into something that doesn't matter at all. Damage. Many primals have fought and died in these valleys. Some of their remains might be of use to the swarm if it can be found. All right, we gotta find the hidden biomass. So I will search around. And it does look like we are playing as Ker She's so fast. I'm not used to Kerrigan anymore. She's so fast. I guess we're also zoomed in on this. Oh, we got, okay, so we do have our own special guys. We got the bile spewers. That's going to be really good. Mend wounds. Heal we got the mend. And self. Oh gosh, those guys do a lot of damage though. <laughs> those ultras hitting hard. But I guess the uh, battle spears don't care. Mend has a very long cooldown attached to it. Fif uh, 20 seconds. So the heal over time is for 15 seconds. The other thing is for 20. Just kind of poking my head around to see if there is any bonus objective. We adapt. Okay, let's uh, jump up here. Nope, that's normal. Coming on this way. I know there's a little thing over here, and I'm not seeing anything on it. Uh, that is, this is actually the end of the mission. Like, uh, there's a ramp right up here to Sliven, which is... Kind of funny, because it's all one cohesive map, even though you don't play it as one cohesive map. Fire a little bile. Oh, our bile makes broodlings! I forgot! Oh, that's good! Oh, that's really good. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we are, we are fine. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Make your peace. I just, I don't want to leave this section until, let me just... Just look over here one moment. Our conquest continues. We cannot get over what there. Is it this time? I didn't think so. The, I'm pretty sure that is part of the gauntlet where you go up to here. So we'll be I over there anyway swore. later. Let's do it. I think that this is going to be the easiest Yagdra fight of all time. Let me just... uh. Yeah, okay, the bile into the broodlings. <laughs> this is so good! Oh my goodness. Nice eggs, loser! <laughs> this is insane! Are we gonna be out of Biles? Nope, we're fine. Wow. That was... That was a true testament to the strength of that Biles damage over time ability. Melting through those eggs and spawning us with a billion little brood dudes. <laughs> That's awesome. So now we have hunter killers. Let's uh, pop over here. I guess this area we might want to just clear proper. We have the resources to do so, so I'm not like super upset about it. It's going to be very quick. Blast that. Just keep keeping a lookout for the hidden biomass. I'm not seeing any indicators of things yet, though. No, like, secret ramps or anything to take. Nah, looking good, looking good. Incoming wave of guys. We can just make sure that they dies. <laughs> it's... The fact that it's anybody that dies within the radius and is not the person that's killed by it is so amazing against other Zerg. 
We're definitely going to have to make these against uh, Zagara. I think she's going to have a bad day if we do. Because she is a big aficionado of the Ling and Bane. Actually, I guess she just makes Ling. She's not really a Bane person. It's kind of the lore. You didn't know this was a lore channel, huh? <laughs> That's all I know about the- Ah! Oh, no, 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 please. Leave me alone. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we somehow perfectly microed out of this situation. <laughs> Don't ask me how that worked. We got Fred the Ultralisk. Oh, I had the wrong person selected. Oh, I meant to have Kerrigan. Well, now we have not perfectly microed out of it. Uh, not seeing anything over there or up here. Here we go. There we go. Stabilized mutagens. All brood queens now have plus one range on spells. Not bad. This should be an easy fight too, right? Yeah. So if we just like keep you in here, do you just not care? Yeah, okay. I guess the hunter killers care. But like, nobody else does. And then there's going to be guys that spawn and we just drop a couple biles. And we're going to say bile bile to uh, Kraith. Remember everyone gets rebuilt. So not, not bad. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Got to make sure we get that final Zelnaga relic, and then uh, we should be done. <laughs> the bile is, uh, I can't quite get over how insane it is. It's very enjoyable. Pop up. Get on over, get on over, and of course, a little bit of get on over. Oh, we got one more. Let's do this. Now we have some frontline tanking, which I guess we need. Remember that he has the ability to roar, and it stuns not the Ultralisk. But everybody else, yes. Uh, we definitely got to keep the Trosk alive. It'd be very embarrassing if we lost him at this point. He's very big and very handsome, and I want him to succeed in life. Man, dude, Sliven's gonna be so easy too because of the Biles, now that I think about it. That's insane. We're gonna have so much Bile power. <laughs> it's just gonna kill all the little dudes. Somehow, this one unit has invalidated the entire mission because it's all about fighting various ads. <laughs> The, the actual bosses are not nearly as impressive as the ads that they spawn to overwhelm you. As a result, we just don't care. Oh my goodness. What a silly little thing. Try not to lose our guys right here. Gotta make them feel no fear. We got it. If you sing a little song, then all your what guys become immortal. We adapt. This world Let's do this. Uh, I want you on hotkey that. And then we just fire a little globule into the air a couple times. We go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's a... Uh, perfectly balanced. more biles? No, it's actually on cooldown, sorry. There is some little bit of balance to it. Hunter killers died, I don't really care. Oh, I do care about Trosk though. Oh no, we gotta, we gotta keep him alive. Because I like him. He's my friend. There we go, he's at full health again. I'm very proud of him. <laughs> he almost got hurt. Oh, we have a lot of Biospewers here. Retribution. Fight again. Yes. 
I don't want to fight Kerrigan, I need her. Oh no, not enemies. I tapped onto the wrong guy. Kind of being lazy with my micro here, but it's fine. And then he's gonna go, oh no, I'm so big and scary, and I'm gonna go, you're actually made of dairy, and I'm lactose intolerant, so get out of my house. Easy peasy. Alright, let's go do another mission, because that was incredibly short. <laughs> let's go wreck Ziggy Zags. Wait, kills. 120. 174. The Tarosk that we got in Phase 3, almost as good as Garrigan. 5389! <laughs> Look at these times! They're insane! That was... <laughs> of all the Supremes, that may have been the easiest one I've ever done. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at our new level abilities. Oh gosh, we're gonna unlock two different things. And a whole new column. Okay. Brood Queens gain the benefit of all mutations and have plus 50 maximum energy. I kind of want to go for drones right now, though. Let's just uh, get our economy good. Armor upgrades increase maximum life of units by 5% per level. That's amazing. I love vanadium plating. My favorite. Let's do it. <laughs> this is what we're here for. Uh, we got auto gas, improved overlords. Let's go reconstitution. Hatcheries are cheaper and all structures build faster. Ooh. No Vespine to build as well or the Omega network. Drills can, drones can build an Omega Network, Omega Worms, cost nothing, instantly emerge, spread creep, allow for transportation between Omega Worms, provide detection around themselves, two networks can be built. That seems insane. Or all ability cooldowns are rev You know what? This, uh, this somehow has become very bad. <laughs> I don't actually think this is a good Omega Network mission, but I do think that it will be very funny. So I'm gonna try. Structures gain increased life regeneration and attack speed on creep. Creep spreads faster and farth. Oh, it's like a static defense rush. Okay, we're going to put a pin in that. <laughs> we're definitely going to put a pin in that, but I think that we are getting towards a, towards a place that we can go for a building rush. And there's definitely some missions I'm thinking of that'd be pretty good for that. Zerg ground units move 60% faster on creep. Or Vespine gas efficiency is increased by 25% and air units cost less. I'm going to go for those enhanced synapses. And then I think we are good. We still need to travel to Char. Ah, yes. Formerly the swarm's primary hive cluster. The, the, uh, the big booty, the stabby man, and the glorb. <laughs> I don't know what that is and I'm not... It looks like a leviathan. <laughs> I'm not gonna mouse over it because I wanna I wanna learn <laughs> what we're getting there. The cutoff throbbing man. <laughs> Let's do this. So this is the one where we fight against Zagara. I think that uh we wanna have the Biles, and then we're gonna use a lot of Zerglings, and then we're going to get the Baneling on this mission, so we'll see what that does. It should be exciting, and I have a little bit of a strategy in mind. I don't know how hard this mission's going to be. I assume it's difficulty scaled for being after Zerus now. Yeah, we start out with a lot of stuff. You are just going to be right here. We got a little DM from our friend. Okay, uh, only festering ones can collect eggs or bailing nests. Uh, I didn't see what that first tip said, and it's gone. Oh, here we go. Enhanced... Oh, uh, yes, achievement's disabled. Only festering ones can pick up eggs and rescue bailing nests. They can be morphed from devouring ones. With the power of the primal pack leaders obtained, drones now morph in pair... Ooh! <laughs> Thank you. That's great to see. we go. One, two, three. We're gonna go one, two, three, and we're gonna go grab an expansion quickly. Burrow, burrow. Oh, she's a quick one. They are attacking her. No. My friend. <laughs> Wait, it's a siege unit. 
That's beautiful. You got a siege baneling. Attacks made by the festering one burn through the armor of any target. And nearby enemies reducing their armor by one for four seconds stacks up to ten times. In addition, the attacks made by festering ones ignore armor. They deal 40 and 80 versus structures, 11 range. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I'll be honest. My original plan was that whatever the banelings did, I was going to... I was going to use them to, uh, or spawn them and assume that they blow up. What? Where's this command center? We've located the Zerg hive cluster. Deploy assault teams. I heard a command center. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get it. How much is a festering one? There's so much going on right now. Uh, we'll get our Kazula range. Why not? Um, if our one spawns, we'll never disable that. It's incredible. We're going to get the, uh, whatever, and we're going to get... Oh my gosh, I got new intel again. Um, there's a lot going on right here. I got to find this unit. Uh, it morphs from these guys. It's a very gas expensive. So we're going to send our guys over here, and then we're going to open this. The guard passively gains eggs over time. Rescuing bailing us on the map will slow the rate she gains eggs. Oh, interesting. We gotta destroy the Dominion Planetary Fortress before collecting the Baneling eggs, which is way over here. In fact, this map is huge over here. What is going on? There's... We have a, a lot of preparation to do. Let's uh, get a couple hatcheries. I'm getting kind of concerned about this mission. <laughs> how much stuff there is. Here, you guys go back here. And then we're gonna get Gas Geyser, Gas Geyser, Gas Geyser. Make sure we can get a lot of Festering ones. Got a lot of devouring ones. This is an insane unit to be able to morph. Even though the morph is 225 gas, it's obviously not cheap. It seems great. It's got 11 range. Warning. Wow. Of Zerglings is approaching well. Our hive cluster. These eggs are what? <laughs> this 60% movement speed on creep is very fast. <laughs> It makes the Zerglings very fast. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's uh, get some upgrades, get these hatcheries selected. And then we have to actually win all of this. Let's see, you guys morph into big, 97 minerals. I'm sure I have like some upgrade that reduces the cost somewhere. What? Oh. I guess the, uh, I guess the infested things are hostile to Zagara, too. Because <laughs> we just did a bonus objective. It is what it is. There's a gold base over there that we should grab. That seems really good. And, uh, what's up here? Oh, another way into our base. I see. This mission has become a lot of stuff, but I think that we're stabilizing. I have a decent understanding of everything that's going on. I don't care that I'm getting hit by fungal. I can get all of my upgrades. We have all this gas coming in. Yeah, this seems this seems like we have hit a really good position. Let's try to get these egg things. So we can stop the accumulation of Zagara stuff. And then we're going to go over here and grab this base next. We're going to get attacked at this base by a single Hydralisk. And then we're going to realize we have no way to fight the Muta. Oh no, we have one Hunter Killer. He's doing his best. I'll destroy them if I get a chance. I have to pull everything back. Uh, at some point, I wanted to get other units, and I have gotten so distracted by this new guy because he's very cool. This here, these over here. I have so much gas. If only I had 97 minerals. I'd be able to build anything that I want. Oh, hello, Zagar. Whoa, she's got the the. She's got her ultimate. Oh my gosh. These guys sure don't do a lot of DPS, do they? They're very good siege units, and I'm sure that once we get a lot of them, they'll be very nice. If only I had the ability to make my structures faster, then this wouldn't be an issue. What's uh? Where's my Omega Worm? 
Okay. Build the hatch. And then... You're just gonna chill here. You know? In this hockey. So that if I need you, I can call you. Alright, we, uh... Definitely need our anti-air. Okay, come on, come on. Gotta restructure everything here. This is not a good mission. Uh, things went very well on that first mission. I think they'll go very fine once we get everything covered. We just need to... Uh, not die for a little bit. Which is proving to be a little bit tough. Come on, Hydroden. You can finish up, buddy. Oh, the queen attacks there. Of course the queen attacks there. I could have made that. You cannot stop me. That's probably correct, Zagara. <laughs> you're, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, it's more mutas. Why are there so many mutas on the mission that gives me a unit that can't hit air? It's so rude. <laughs> Okay, here we, here we go. We can start hitting our units. We have our snipe versus casters like Zagara herself. We can rebuild the lost workers over here. Start grabbing the eggs on this side. Try to keep up with Ziggy's eggs. Oh, they got the lurkers, of course. We got to, uh... A couple of these. Wait, do Omega Worms detect? They do in the in, uh, co-op. Oh, they do! Nice. Perfect. I said we can get two of these, right? So they've got a 90 second cooldown, but that's fine with me. Okay, I want that gold base at some point. By what? I don't care. I just want to look at gold. I was taught by Shrek that all that glitters is gold. And that I'm an all-star. So I'm going to get my game on. These uh, devouring ones are living up to their name, though, and that is, like, the most beautiful thing. It's just, like, one corruptor trying to BM my worm. So you, right here. We should be prepared for attacks at this point. We can just toss that down. Now we can teleport as we need. Always keep a charge up so that we do not get knocked down. As long as we have a charge remaining, we can always teleport home. Then we're going to start working on this Terran stuff on the side. Looks like they're coming to me. <laughs> Building their bunkers, huh? Saturate, saturate. Spore, spore, spine, spine. Wow. They sure do like mutas on this mission. That's fine. Oh, they like banshees too. Uh, could have sworn that I built some overseer. Oh, eh, goodness. Being hit everywhere. Clean these guys up. Get in here. Pop on out. Try to help this out. Uh, more hunter killers, I guess, because air. And then we want to pop back in here and see if we can defend this base. This base is looking okay. Why are there so many mutalisks? <laughs> it's just more and more. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's a good strategy. I really don't care about that guy still. He's never going to make me care. Going to grab that command center. I want it bad. And there should be a command center over here we can grab as well. Maybe. I don't know if we can grab the already infested command center. Push in this way. They've got a tank. Don't think finding those pathetic bangling nests will save you. Let's see. We are tied right now, which is okay with me. Because we have the gold base. Soon I will spawn an army that will crush you. Means I can just take this down. Bottle you over here. And then... Drop that. 
Let's just set these rallies at this point into the Omega Worms and see if we can reinforce that way, kind of like you do in co-op. Oh, no, that's not good. Let's get more Zerglings. Get something in the front line. Big attack coming over here. No, it's just Mutus. It's always just Mutus. Get more spores. This base doesn't feel like it was worth it just because it's taken so many static defense pieces. I know it's good. This is a big base. Warfield has not messed around here. Oh, he's building over there too. All right, split shot. Festering one now spawns two splitterlings on impact that also apply roading acid. In the trench. Retreat. That's We're insane. Oh yeah, you've lost control, buddy. Oh yeah, you've lost control. Okay, there's a bunch of eggs over there we can get later. We just need to... Identify... No, it's just more... <laughs> just more air. Get some of these. You're gonna follow this way, because I'm sure there's more lurker... Ooh! Ziggy Zags is on the way. Oh, pull back, pull back, pull back. Hey, she does use Bane Links. That's very exciting. Try to fungal them. I have no idea what's happening with this fight, but that base got annihilated. But you know what? Seems okay. <laughs> we're, we're maxed out. It's uh, been a mission where we've gotten beaten up a lot. And now we're okay. Well, we got these guys to help out. Uh, do I have a queen remaining? I do not. I think it's too late for infested stuff anyway. Scorching acid obtained. Roading acid lands twice as long. Each festering one applies two stacks instead of one. Okay. So we melt through armor real quick now. And blast this stuff. Come this way. I dislike that guy. He's not because he's strong, but because he's annoying. Swing over here. Try to grab some of these eggs. We're way ahead of Zagar at this point. That's all I care about. They have a whole base over here. The Hive Industrial Complex has been going strong. Well, let's get you over here. Pull back a little bit. <laughs> that base <laughs> was so not worth it. It required so much babysitting. And it just did not work out. As soon as Zagara caught wind of it, she was like, what am I sniffing? I smell a loser. And then she just obliterated it. These over here. These over here. We should be able to... Oh, Outback Hunters. We almost went to Outback Steakhouse right there. For any Australians watching, because I know that I have a fairly large Australian viewership, Outback Steakhouse is if a uh, chain restaurant was a parody of Australia and not very good. <laughs> it's honestly quite offensive to you, and I apologize that it exists. All right, we're good to go. Here's your Uber. And then we get another one right here. <laughs> the lag spike even unloading them. That's how you know it's good. Yeah, I don't see this being a failure. It would be very difficult to lose from here. Even I couldn't do it. This way a bit. Yeah, it turns out when you have 7 billion guys that deal 8, 96 versus structures, you're pretty good. They are a great siege unit. So powerful. I like how they get the attack speed bonus. <laughs> if only they were a bit better, they might have taken her down first. All right, that was uh, that was an insane mission. There was a lot of stuff going on, but uh, those Baneling Busty guys, they're so good. They're really, really strong against ground. Uh, just like any type of siege unit is.
Uh, definitely gotta have the anti-air with them. But now we know, and we'll be able to deal with that next time. Let's get some upgrades for them. Increases base attack damage dealt to primary target by 100% seems balanced. Blast radius could actually be very good. Or the splash twice as long, blah blah blah, yeah. I think we're gonna double the damage because it's a siege unit. And siege units dealing a million damage from a million range, always pretty darn good. Definitely some missions later, maybe, that we can increase that splash radius and get some value. Now we never really fight Zerg again, do we? Huh. Well, that's a shame. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace!